Good morning, Bears. I'm Mary. And I'm Morgan. Welcome back to Ridgeline. Today we have a wide variety of content on the show for you this morning. First, Kyle will bring us some frozen fun at the ice rink. Up next, we have history with Caleb. And finally, Mary brought us wrestling. But first, here are some announcements. If you're a junior interested in the Girls and Boys Club, see Miss Kinney in Neighborhood B for information. The club teaches students about American tra traditions and exposes them to a college atmosphere. Registration for 2020 and 2021 school year is coming up. Students will be given their forms in the 3rd and 4th of study hall, and their forms will be due on the 12th and 3rd of February. If you are new to an AP class this semester and want to take the AP exam in May, you need to see Miss Kinney in Neighborhood B. Registration forms are due on March 2nd and no later. Now, on to our show. Kyle went down to the ice rink to give us a taste of our favorite winter sport. Have you ever seen a bear on ice skates? The secret is you gotta get up really early in the morning and come to the Monument Ice Rink where you can catch the Lewis Plummer School District's ice hockey team hard at work. The Lewis Plummer ice hockey team practices early every morning to keep their high standings. The team works hard under the excellent leadership of their coaches and their team captain, Alex Pierce. The senior, number 18, Alex Pierce. I've been playing since I was eight. I was eight. My uh, brother played when we won the state championship, and I always want to be like him. So yeah, it was kind of a dream since I've been in elementary school. Ice hockey is a fast-paced sport, and a lot can happen in just a few seconds. But the team relies on their shared experiences and bonds to stand strong against their competitors. The brotherhood that we have, pretty much any ice hockey team has. Uh, you know, you spend so many hours together, you get so close to each other, um, and it's definitely a lot of memories made. You may recognize some familiar faces from Lewis Palmer High School. The school district only has one ice hockey team with players from both high schools. Well, it's a district team, so it's kind of it's kind of mumbo jumbo some of the time, but um, it's really just a brotherhood, yeah. If you're interested in ice hockey or just want to support your fellow Bears, be sure to catch their next game this Friday night at the Monument Ice Rinks. For Ridgeline, this is Kyle Ketchell. Thank you for bring, bringing us a bit of hockey, Kyle. I was quite surprised to see that one player take a tumble and recover so quickly, just like a high school rebound. Monument has many interesting roots, but most of us don't know much about them. Caleb went to search deeper into Monument's history. Hi! How's it going, guys? Now, all of us go through the Monument area in some point of the day, you know, to go to school or to get some lunch. But do any of us really know the origins of the Monument area? Here, I'm going to give you a history lesson. Yay! In the 1870s, Monument was called Henry Station after the fact that it was a train station and after its first mayor, Henry Limbach. Sound familiar? After Henry finished his service fighting in the Indian Wars, he went west and opened a saloon with his wife Caroline, only to soon become mayor of Henry Station. I think it's super important to learn about local history because um, by understanding your own local history, you understand your culture better, where you're from, um, the people around it. And so the other thing that's good, especially if you learn at a younger level, is it helps you understand um, the national narrative of history better too. Like Once the Rio Grande Railroad was finished in 1879, Henry Station was renamed Monument after the rock formation in Mount Hermon. Thank you for listening in for some monumental history. From Ridgeline, this is Caleb Inema. Thanks, Caleb. Kind of weird I've lived here my whole life and still learned something about Monument. I truly enjoy the art of combat. That's why I'm excited to sit back and hopefully watch some kids get bashed as Mary displays the local wrestling match. Palmer Ridge has many popular sports teams, but one we don't know a lot about is wrestling. The Palmer Ridge wrestling team may be small, but they definitely are fierce. From cradles to takedowns, the Bears delivered some pain to those Rangers. Even though this is an individual sport, the camaraderie among the team is unmistakable. Uh, favorite part of being a wrestling team is like just the bond we make, and at the tournaments, at the meets, <laughs> we are, we like we bond really well. No matter what it is, we're always there to help each other, root each other on. Everyone's always watching, everyone's always cheering, and then we help each other get better. The team has seven more matches this month alone, so go out and support your Bears. For Ridgeline, this is Mary Dunstan. Thanks, Mary. Looks rough, but the guys seem to really pull through. It's time to come to our most favorite se segment of the show, weather. Today, Jaden is coming to us from the ceramics room. How you doing, Jaden? 
Hey guys, it was snowing a little last week, but we're going to get some more this week. Let's see what the weather satellite is showing. All the blue coming off the Pacific is snow that can potentially hit us during this week. Now let's move on to the five day. The beginning of the week will be snowy, so bring some extra layers. Later in the week, it will be sunny, but still cold. Though it is Colorado where the weather changes every five minutes. Back to you guys in the studio. Bye, Jaden. Finally, we have a picture sent in to us by the girls' soccer team. Ooh, looks a little cold. Hopefully girls stay warm out there. Seriously, though. <laughs> if you have pictures you want on Ridgeline, make sure to send them to Mr. Say. Well, that's all the time we have for today's show. Have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Bye. We did it.